Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be sort of doing a first impressions review on this foundation from NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. So like I said, this is going to be sort of like a first impressions review. I've actually filmed a video of this earlier today, but unfortunately the footage was just unusable, so hence why I've got my makeup on already. But anyway, um, if you guys are new to how I do my first impressions videos, I basically talk to you guys first about my wants and needs in a foundation. That way you know this video is going to align with what you want in a foundation as well. We'll talk about the promise and then we'll go into the demonstration or application and then I'll come back and do a first impressions review pretty much summary and then uh, yeah we'll move on from there. So okay let's talk about my wants and needs in terms of foundation. I do prefer a medium to full coverage type foundation. I do prefer satin finishes. Um, I do have fine lines, large pores, textural issues from my five o'clock shadow and just you know acne marks and whatnot. Now in terms of the promises I have the box here so I'm just going to quickly read the little snippet here. It says um, it's a light reflecting foundation instantly diffuses light to blur imperfections and smooth the look of skin um, and then it says here me a medium buildable coverage natural finish breathable all day wear so um, obviously this is just like a first impressions I haven't actually worn this out so I can't tell you guys whether or not this is going to last really well throughout the day on the skin but um, now let's move on to the demonstration. I'm starting off with a primer. So this one is the Australis Primer, the original. So this foundation primer helps smooth, refines and moisturizes the skin. It's silicone free. So I don't think it's going to add any like shimmer or lumin luminous sort of like finish onto the skin. Then I applied my color corrector, set that, and then I applied my foundation. So I did three pumps on each side. So I'm starting off first with the brush side. Um, so I've got this one from Real Techniques. And then also the sponge side I had had three pumps and I used a beauty blender and I pretty much just did one layer for both sides. Now in my first video where I did the first impressions, the actual first impressions, I actually did four pumps in total. So three pumps first and then another pump on top just to see how buildable it was and it really built it up nice and beautiful on the skin. Um, this is what my skin looks like now. I don't have any finishing powder or setting spray at the moment. I only really have um, my blush and my contour. I don't even have highlight, but um, you can kind of see how this, it's really nice. It's set by itself. Um, it doesn't feel like foundation, if that makes sense. To me, it feels like I'm wearing tinted moisturizer and it even looks like I'm wearing tinted moisturizer, but I have coverage, um, which is so mind blowing to me, and it's just it's just so beautiful. I mean, obviously, I've got ring lights, I've got lights here, and it's bouncing the lights so beautifully. And you guys can probably see on camera as well. I'm looking at the viewfinder just to kind of see what you guys are seeing, um, but it's just got this really nice, healthy glow to it, which. I am obsessed with. Um, I'm really happy that foundation companies or makeup companies in general are creating foundations that are more skin-like as opposed to just full-on coverage. Um, I think that was like the trend a year or two ago, like release full coverage, the more full coverage the better. Um, but then it ended up looking too makeup-like and now we're kind of going back into like we want more natural looking which I personally am a fan of so I'm really really happy about that so obviously again this is the first impressions I'm really really happy with it it looks really good but I have to do a follow-up video um probably on TikTok or on Instagram or both actually um just explaining how much I like it or dislike this so definitely check me out on those social media platforms I'll have them linked down in the description box down below so you guys don't miss out on that video um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. So I have another foundation from NARS here. This one is the Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation. So I have been using this for years now and it's been one of my favorites as well. Um, now, both these shades are Barcelona. Now, if I hold the two bottles together, you can probably tell um, there is a little bit of a difference in terms of the shade. Um, similar undertones, but I feel like the Natural Radiant one's a little bit more peach toned and a little bit darker. Um, but that's just my observation, just based on the bottles. I should probably do a swatch and let you guys know. Now, referring back to this foundation, this is definitely one of those medium full coverage foundations that when you apply it, it looks beautiful in the skin, but you can definitely tell it's foundation. But you can obviously do certain things to your makeup to make it look more more natural, more skin-like, but um, it's definitely got that makeup look to it. Whereas this one, again, like I said, has more of that tinted moisturizer look on the skin, which I really, really like. Um, and I didn't really need to use that much to achieve the coverage that I normally like to sport. Um, 
which is really good um, to be completely honest. I feel like I have to use a lot more of this to really get the flawless finish that I want. I don't know, maybe because this is giving me this really nice natural finish, I don't feel like I want more. But I don't know, it's really hard to describe. It's it's definitely one of those foundations I truly agree with, the hype. Um, it's really nice, um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about this foundation. But anyway, those are my first thoughts and impressions of this foundation. If you guys have tried it out before, definitely let me know down in the comment box down below what you guys think. And again, don't forget to check out my other social media platforms where I'll be uploading the proper review on there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.